with the one two, hit him with the one two, yo. With the one two, hit him with the one two, yo. With the one two, what's up, everybody? With the one two, hit him with the one two, yo. With the one two, hit him with the one two, yo. With the one two, I hit him with the one two, black. When them seats cop, please cut off my ears, cause I ain't even trying to hit that. Folks get thrown just to show exactly what's up. So next time, thrown folks is talking, you shut the fuck up. What up, YKM? Y A D A V V? I don't even want to. I don't even want to try. Shout out, shout out. Yeah, man, just giving people the chance to come in, get in here. You know what I mean? How y'all doing up? Word, word. Alright, what up, what up? What's good? Okay. I see you, I see you, I see you. Just want to give people some more time to come in. Word. Meantime, just listening to some tracks. I'm in a, I'm in a real '90s mood right now. You know what I mean? Real '90s underground mood right now. Word. Mm. Word. Shout out to T Diddy. Word. Come on. Alright. Wanna get some more folks a chance to get in here, get in here. Word. Uh. Y'all hear that flow? That's that that's that that's that early nineties right there. Uh. Come on. Yeah, hope y'all having a good week, man. Word. Got a, got a special guest tonight. Word. Representing the town. Word. Uh. 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 All right. Shout out to Divine Drummer. I see you. Word. Okay, okay. See some folks is in here. Word, word. Word, okay. Y'all hear it. Yo, shout out to Trent, man. Word up. Shout out to everybody tuning in, everybody listening right now. Word. Earthquakes in the Garden State. Word. That's what it is. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legendary guest tonight. Legendary guest tonight, man. Word. Come on. Alright. Trent makes the world takes exactly. You're already spaghetti. 
Word. Yo, what's good, what's good, what's good? It's your boy Gary Gnu. And I want to welcome y'all to the iCast podcast. Word. Tonight, I want to welcome everybody tonight. Got a real swinging cat with us tonight, like the song say. Word. From the Boulevard Massey. We got the legendary, outstanding Asiatic with us tonight, y'all. When you think of uh, early 90s, early 90s hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and early trend hip-hop, uh, people automatically think of, uh, you got to think of PRT, uh, you got to think of like Suicide, guys like that. Uh, Boulevard Massey is one of those guys, you know what I'm saying? Boulevard Massey was that group that was repping the town, you know what I'm saying? And the reason why I wanted to have this 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 guest on this show tonight was I felt that this man has a story to tell. You know what I mean? The town, the town got history, and I feel like the kids need to know that. They need to know who the forefathers were. And and tonight, I feel like I definitely got a Got a forefather. You hear the background? You hear the song? Yeah. So yo, let me see if he in the if he in the room. Ladies and gentlemen, we about to bring on outstanding. Let me see if he here. Waiting, 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 waiting. Let me see. Let me see, y'all. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. Yo, what up? Face, face to the God. Peace, what's up, man? You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can Am hear I you. Am I clear? Yeah. Okay. I see. I see you still working on your cut over there. Yeah. I'm on my what's, up, man? Man? what's going on? Chilling, chilling, chilling. But yo, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, like I said, we got the legendary, outstanding Asiatic with us tonight. I want y'all to welcome my man. You know what I mean? Outstanding. What's good with you, baby? What's up, man? How you? I'm good. I'm good, man. How you feeling, man? I'm good, man. You know what I mean? I, I just lost my earth on Friday. Exactly. You know exactly. what I mean? So, yeah, I just want to say, uh, you know, rest in peace to your mom. Let's send my condolences out to you and your family. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. My mom was 88 years old, beautiful woman, wow. man. You know what I mean? Okay. And, and she was very proud of me, man, and our accomplishments on what we did, man. So I just want to start by saying rest in peace to her. You know what I mean? Rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. If I move the camera around, shit, that's going to that's gonna bother you or not? Nah? nah, you good. You, you should be all right, man. How, how far you went to the cut? You almost done or, or not? <laughs> yeah, I'm almost done. Okay, okay. You looking sharp though, man. You looking good, man. I'm trying to, man. You're just trying speaking. to keep it together. No doubt, no <laughs> doubt. You doing that? You doing that? You doing that, man? So, yo, man. Boulevard Massey. You know what I mean? Okay. You guys, uh, you guys did a lot for the, for the time, man. You guys, um, you know, along with PRT, along with along with other, you know. Uh, uh, MCs like uh, groups like Trooper Square, you know what I mean? Just to, you know, Scott Locker, whoever, you know, just just to, just to name people. But uh, yeah, man, you guys were somebody that was was a group that that really stood out, and um, and y'all was doing your thing, man. But I want to know, um, how did that come together, man? How'd you put that whole thing together, bro? How the Boulevard Massey come together? Yes, sir. Well, you know, me and Plex, man. Me and Plex Shout met up. Yeah. You know, I met I met Plex through Martin, man. Merck. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Merck. Yeah. yeah, they was they was in the same class since like third grade. Okay. You know, okay. What I'm so, you know, Martin, my right hand man. Right, right. Was five years old and him and Plex was in the same class. So okay. at the time we started rhyming, you know, he told me he said his man, you know, he he DJ. And he was talking about Plex, man. And he made the introduction to me. And okay. um, 
from there, you know, me and Plex, you know, we started chilling out, talking on the phone, but we never really did no music. I just heard a tape from him. And okay. then once I got to the course, then, you know what I'm saying? Like, probably like the second week of school. Like, yeah. I, you know, you, you start off with a lot of crews, like your crews start off like seven, eight dudes, you know what I'm saying? So it was like it was like seven to eight of us that rhymed. You know what I'm saying? What year are we talking about? What time period are we talking about? This is uh, 1985. Hey, oh, okay, okay. Before the 1985. Yeah, when, when I when I got with my fellas, you know what I'm saying, and we all did like a a, a nice little joint over Plex House, like a 60 minute TDK. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Just front rhyming the on it. Huh? Say from front to back. Yeah, from front to back, man. We had a lot of laughing in it. You know what I'm saying? But um, we had the serious points in it. We had the laughing points in it. But once we recorded it and we played it on the school bus, man, going to school, yeah. man, it was rap, man, because people started quoting lines and sing. They knew where the laughter was on the tape. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they, they kind of respected our craft because at the time we was probably the only crew at McCorson at that time, you know. It was people that rhymed, but we was a crew. Like, we were serious about it. We had the, the sweatshirts and everything with the names on the back. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, from that point on, man, the adrenaline from everybody listening to us, like, made us kept, keep going on. And Rod V was a part of that tape, too, you know. Oh, okay. In 85, he was? Yeah. Rod Z. Wow. Plex, Rod Z. Martin, my man Floyd, we had another kid, uh, Tim Robinson, Anthony okay. Rosario, Oscar G. You know what I mean? A lot of them, they was all younger than me, like a grade, and Oscar was two grades, you know? So it was like seven MCs in a beatbox, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, so the reaction that we got, man, on the bus, man, especially from the ladies, man, it just gave us the adrenaline to keep going, you know? That's what's up. That's what's up. And so from that point, you know, when you start off with the large crews, after a while, like, you know, it starts shrinking. You know, everybody start getting into their girlfriends. And I was one of the ones that just kept writing. I was serious about it. You right. know, if you was my partner or around me and you ain't right, I would write a verse for me and you and say, like, yo, here, you spit this. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So as it, so as it decreased a little bit, you know what I'm saying, probably by – um. The next summer, you know, mm -hmm. um, me and Pete started doing music with a guy named DJ L, who was like an older guy. Okay. And uh, we feel like when once we did a tape over his house, like, you know, we accomplished, we, we took a step up. Uh, and um, then he, he started recording me in his room on his third floor. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So once... And that, so we went from actually rhyming off the of instrumentals to making original demo tapes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. And from that point on, you know, my man Almighty Alex came in and me and him started doing tapes. And from that point, that's when, you know, we formed. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's okay. So, so that's when I got together. It was like eight of us. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Then it narrowed down. And then once we started getting a little bit more serious... You know, I'm making more serious, like, song structures. You know, that's when we put everything together. I right, like, okay, we're going to start doing records. You know okay. what I mean? All right. So, so what was the first song, what was the first song that you, that you recorded? Or, or like, what did that eventually uh, lead to? With you doing all the demos? How did that, what that? The, the first song that I did, yeah. it was called, it was called, I Want to Rock. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. I was big on LL, man, at the time, yeah. and my man had. I need to cut your whistle, but I meant to. I meant to ask you who was your who was your influence back then, like who was making you do what you was doing. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely LL, man. Ladies love, man. Oh yeah, okay. you know what I mean? We made yeah, sure. We, you know, everything was LL was like yo rock and rock the bells and yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Hard, real hard trajectory, you know what I mean? Yeah. With your mom. So my joint was called I Want to Rock. <laughs> yeah. Because he you had know, a song called he had that joint called Full Rock, right? Huh? I Want to Rock. That was the name of the joint. No, but I said LL had that song called You'll Rock. Yeah, he, he had a song called um, Was It You'll Rock? 
Yeah, I believe so. It was your rock. I know it was something with rock in it, man. He had a couple rocks. Man. Yeah, he did, he did, he did, but you know, proceed, proceed. And so he he definitely was a big influence on me on my early work. That's who I used to sound like. And I had like a love song on the flip side too, like you know what I'm saying. You know how LL give you a hard joint, and then yeah. he give you a love joint. Yeah. I had a love joint called "Make Me Feel Good" off of James Brown. That right, was my right, first right. joint. Okay. You know what I mean? So I had two demos, man. I had a hard joint and and a, and a joint for the ladies. I'll never That's forget. What's up. That's what's you know up. What I'm so so why you why, so why the Boulevard Mossy? Why not? You know what I mean? A, another name? How, what, what made you call it? Give it that name. Oh, uh, that was easy. That was easy. Like, you know, my, my street was called Princeton Avenue coming up. You yeah. know, and then like as soon as we hit our early teens, they changed the name to Martin Luther King Boulevard. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And at the time, you know, I was on hanging with my fellas real, real heavy on 682, man, on the corner mm -hmm. of Martin Luther King Boulevard and Ingram Avenue, man, in front of the yeah. store. You know That's what I'm right. saying? So 682 was 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 my dudes, man. That's where I was at every day. That's who I was with every day. So, you know, we knew it was going to be Boulevard something. You know what I'm saying? Because, of, you know what yeah. I mean? Because of the street. I wanted to rep where I was from and who I was with. Right. You know what I mean? During that time, though, you know, like PE had the um the nine eight posse. Yup. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had, uh, huh? I said the, the 98 Oldsmobile. Yeah, everybody had a crew. Like, you know, yeah. no the doubt. Posse, special posse, double X posse, you know? So yeah. we knew it was going to be Boulevard or something. So when yeah. I uh, heard Special Ed, Special Ed had the joint where he said, you're going to need a whole posse, a Masi or more. And I yeah. was like, ooh. Yeah. I said, ooh, that sounds like a lot of jokers, man. So. I was yeah. like, yeah, we're going to use that, Mossy. That sound like a whole bunch of dudes, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, so, well, like more, than a, more than a posse. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? I, mean, I, heard, I was like, oh, a whole posse, a Mossy or more. I was like, oh, yeah. we're going to use that. And so that's where that came from, Boulevard Mossy. So it was just representing my block, being okay. prideful of who I was from and who I was with at the time because I was the only rhyme on my block, man. My dudes was holding me down. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, they right. They were the best promotion, best street team. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. And, and they was riding with me no matter what, man. Physically or promotion, man, they was riding with me. So I was just repping them, man. You know what I'm saying? And myself. So that's right. where that came from, you know? That's what's up, man. So uh, let's fast forward to uh, one of the first songs that I that, that I that I heard you record, um, All Praise Due to Outstanding, um, what led to that, and um, you know, what moves did you make to get that uh, to get that accomplished? All right. Well, when I did all praise to do. I did a couple demos after the. Uh, oh, okay. I, the, did I, did I gotta jump ahead. Did I jump? No, I, I, no, I, no, 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 no. I'm gonna just segue into it. You know okay. what I'm saying? I had did a couple joints before that. All right. You know, okay. then um, I had went off to college like right out of high school. Okay. What's you doing? I went. I went to Dell State for a year. Okay. Fell everything. <laughs> you know I what I'm saying? Everybody, you know. Yeah, I, I was homesick at the time, so I was coming home a lot. But you know, yeah. we was listening to music and everything down there. And I had a couple demos that I did before I left. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And so my man DJ L, the guy I was telling you about that, you know, was recording me. Uh -huh. Um, we used to work at Ace Record Shop. Okay. Okay, so him and Scoop was real close. And Scoop had a friend uh -huh. that wanted to get into hip-hop music, and he was looking for a group. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So originally, I thought the uh, deal was for a uh, gentleman, uh, Omar Superstar. And uh, Dave had approached me one day. I was on the corner and was like, yo, this deal waiting for you, man. I don't, I don't know what you're waiting for. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... You know, because me and him wasn't speaking at the time. I remember that, man. I, I, we had a little disagreement. I, I forgot what it was, but I was a young boy at the time. I, I was kind of hard-headed, but when he okay. came to me, he said, yo, we got this deal waiting for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yo, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we got the paperwork and everything, and I said, uh, if I'm going to do something, 
you know what I'm saying, on record. I said, I want to introduce myself to the world. And, and you know, I got the record from the Gap Band Outstanding. It was a no-brainer to me. It was just my introduction to the world. I said, I want everybody to know who I am. You know right. what I'm saying? Where I'm, I'm from. That. Yeah. And that's so, that's how that came about. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how outstanding came from that. You know. So just the lyrics. Said, I, my, my, my bad. My bad. Nah, go ahead. I'm I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say those um uh those lyrics in there was real was really like like conscious lyrics and like you said you was like uh, introducing the world to yourself uh, as right. being outstanding. You know what I mean? And and I know you represent um uh, the nation of the gods and the earth. So um. Tell me, tell me how uh, how you got linked with that, and how you know, and, and, and why you, you incorporated that into your into your rhyme style. Well, originally I wasn't rhyming like that. I, I just want to say that. Okay. You know, but um, you know, I had I had got lessons from my man Born King. Um, okay. I think a lot of, a lot of the a lot of people that was doing music was building at that time, <clears throat> and I always say like I was all right. I didn't really know my lessons that well at that time uh, you know what i'm saying so at the time you know as i i was writing I, I was doing it because everybody else that's what they was doing okay you know what i'm saying so you know i didn't want to rhyme about me per se i wanted to introduce myself but i didn't want to rhyme about me so i wanted to do something with a message so basically i was saying look if you want to make any type of changes you know you want to start with yourself and that's what i was uh, doing you know uh, what i'm saying so you know, that's how I was rhyming. I wasn't rhyming like, pardon me, I wasn't rhyming like that originally. Right. You know, right. you know that's what people was doing at the time. So I fell into that. You know what I mean? Okay. So that, that's how that record came about. And I, and I got a good reaction from it. I just didn't right. feel that I was uh could go in debt on it like I wanted to because I didn't really you know, know my lessons really like I should have at that time. You know what right. I'm saying? Okay. So, but, you know, the hook and everything got me over, so I was, I was all right with that. Yeah, you know it, what I'm saying? It, it was dope, man, and I think that uh, it was really fitting. I mean, I mean, you know, your name was Outstanding. Gat Bang got a song called Outstanding. Like, I, I feel like that shit was like the perfect match. You know what I'm saying? Right. The thing is, though, I'm a humble dude, man. I, I, I could have just been like, I'm the the top rhyme, I'm the chief, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, right. while, while I'm rhyme. I could have talked about me all day, but I, I didn't really want to do that. You know what I mean? I wanted to just display some type of message, but I appreciate it. It's cool. I, I, I made a lot of mistakes on that record, though. I know that. My Like, my first my first verse at first was like 48 bars. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't understand. I ain't understand about bars at the time. Yeah, you had no structure. You had to learn that. Was that something that was, uh, did somebody teach you that, or was that like self-taught? Did you have to teach yourself how to chop them bars down? Yeah. Well, when I first started rhyming, Dave used to count my bars, but I, he never uh, told me, like, you know, a verse had to be or should be a certain amount of bars. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I was just rhyming until I was finished saying what I had to say. Yeah. That's, you usually, know? How go. that's usually how it go, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. I used to listen to um, MC Force, who's Positive Force now. Okay. You know, and Almighty from Almighty uh, and KD. I yeah, used to listen to them. They verses used to be long, bro. You oh, know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and I used to look up to them. So I used to listen to them and be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? They they was calling you a one minute rhyme maker. Like Almighty said, you're a, a traitor perpetrator, one minute rhyme maker. That means yeah. like your room is only one minute. We could keep going. Yeah, yeah. So I, as I was writing my joint, I was like, "Well, I'm gonna just keep going because I don't want to be a one minute rhyme right, maker." Right, you know right. what I mean? You know okay. what I mean? So, yeah. so that's why my verses were so long. But then Tone told me like, "Yo, man, your first he said your first verse, forty eight bars, man. That's too <laughs> long." Right, right. I have a verse on it that got chopped up too. Like it's crazy. I laughed when I listened to it because it wasn't even done. Like you know what I'm saying. But I got it together after that. But you know what I mean. So I laughed because I could hear myself breathing in the verses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Wow. It's it's all types of mistakes, but you know the reaction was good, so I just ran with it. 
And and on the flip side of that, you had uh, Move to Something Funky. Move right? to Something Funky, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So Move now this something. is like, what, 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 what year that came out? What year uh, all this came out? That came out January 1990. We signed in 1989, November. Okay, so, and who'd you sign with? We signed with uh, Scorpio Records, an independent label. Okay. They was actually out East Trent in extension. A lot of people ain't know, but they was right yeah, out yeah. there. You can tell me that girl on the phone and shit. Yeah, they was right out there. And, and being that Scoop had that connect, they right. wound up signing us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, rest in peace to Scoop, man. Um, H Record Shop, man. That's another historical hip hop. Well, not even just hip hop. He sold all kind of shit, but I mean, just a landmark in Trenton, along with uh, Sound of Trenton as well, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Sound of Trenton was 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 hot, man. But Ace was home, bro. Yeah, yeah, it was right Ace on the boulevard too. You know what I mean? Yeah. My mom used to have to come get me up out of there. I used to be down there. My mom come down and point yeah. at her watch. Yo, you know what time it is? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I used right. to be like, I got to go. I used to right. go down there, read the source for free. Right. You know what I'm saying? Tell the young boys what was the thing that was popping at the time, what, what tapes was popping at the time. Right. Help right. scoop out. This is what we listening to right now, because I was that young boy at that time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, we. I used to be in there all day, man. We love Scoop, man. He was actually my manager. Okay. Okay. And rest in peace to Scoop, man. Word, word. Charles, according to Godfather, man, because he, he controlled everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, old white man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, he used to run. My pop used to run with him, too, man. Yeah, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. The Italians, yeah. like, the Italians was, had North Trenton popping. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? They all, what Scoop said, had a piece of the action back then. So, you know what I mean? You got with them. You know what I'm saying? You was well respected. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Yeah. So yeah, and everybody came through Scoop, yo. Everybody, yeah. man. Yeah. I remember Juice and Shahid used to come through there. All the yeah. hustlers come through there, the young boys. My mom used to go through there, and get the gospel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, man. So you, you mentioned uh, you mentioned Tony D earlier, man. Rest in peace to Tony D, man. Um Another legendary uh, uh, producer uh, coming out of Trent, man. How did you um, hook up with Tony D and y'all start working together? Um, you know, what I mean, make it making songs and shit like that. Once again, I was I was with DJ L. Um, okay. One of those one of those demos that I told you about. You know, what I'm saying that I did. Um, we did a joint. It was called Soul Power. We used <laughs> another James Brown joint. And um, the thing is, DJ L, he had he had his crew of rhymers that came over there and recorded, you know. And then Tone had he had a, a stable of rhymers that recorded over there, you know. So it was a little competition with like the people that was recording at Dave and recording over Tones. So once we did that, like Dave was so uh, happy about the product that we did, he called Tone up on the phone. You know what I mean? We got Slick in here. Slick just came, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word up. Big go. Word. Yeah, so um, Dave called Tone on the phone and was like, yo, listen to this. Listen to what we just did. You right. know what I'm saying? And he played it for Tone. Tone said, why don't you do that over here? Because we just had a sampler. We was just sampling. We had a four track, a sampler. You know what I'm saying? And he asked some little drums behind it and you know he couldn't really do too much but tone had the sp okay you know what I mean? so tone said yo come do that over here so i was like yo let's go over there and then he went over there and we ran it through the sp and you know what i'm saying and from that point on he took me to epsilon after that to record it after that where is that and that was our hamilton that's where oh, Paul right okay. recorded that's uh -huh. where yt recorded that's yeah. where all of these albums that you talk about, that's where they was recorded at Epsilon Studio. Engineer yeah, named I, Tom Zep. I might have heard them cats maybe mention that in a, in, in a song or something back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Epsilon was it. Like Once I got in there, I was like, oh, this is it, baby. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I bet. You know I bet, man. Yeah, no more rhyming in the closet. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? No more putting the stocking cap over the... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah. the pop stopper and all of that. I was like, this is the real deal. When I went in there and recorded that with Tone, uh -huh. from that point, he was just throwing tracks at me, throwing tracks at me. And, okay. uh, I couldn't resist those, man, and I just started recording with him. He just became our, our, our main producer. Okay. That's what's up, man. So uh, let's talk about the track Can't Escape the Hypeness, man, because I think that's 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 y'all probably – probably most well-known um, uh, track that y'all that y'all uh, put out. Um, how'd you put that together? How did you feel when you first heard that beat, man? Was, was it a beat that, that Tone had with somebody else laying around, or was it a beat that he uh, uh, custom-made for, for you, or, or, or talk about that? He didn't custom-make it for me. It was, yo, it was just one of the joints that he, he had on the tape, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what really made me pick that? It wasn't even a sample. It was the break beat behind it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. That's all yeah. I really cared about, that it had that. Yeah. I didn't know that that was Paul McCartney over it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, yeah. hell yeah. Definitely Paul McCartney. I didn't know that. Hey, yeah. yo, I ain't even know. I didn't know. I didn't care. I just wanted that break beat. Like, you know what I'm saying? And so he, he played that for me, man. And I was just like, okay. All right, I did Outstanding. I did Move to Sound Funky. I was like, all right. This, you know, remember I was telling you earlier, I was like, yo, I was building, but I ain't really know my lessons. Yeah. And I said, I wasn't rhyming like that prior, you know? So I, I said, yo, I'm I'm going to uh, be more me, how I was at that time. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to change the flow up a little bit, shorten my verses, and I wanted something catchy in the verses, you know what I mean? I felt as though I, I found my little pocket at that time, you know what I'm saying? So right. it allowed me to have that little flow with, I just flow and flow and if you come to my show, the Masi uh, takes up at least seven rows, the yeah. stadium's up, my paper is racked up, suckers who play me too tight should just back up. I just right. wanted to just go, go with that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and stay in that pocket, you know what I'm saying? Right. So and that's what that allowed me to do. So I did the verse. I wrote the verses home. I did it. We didn't know what the hook was going to be, though. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, I laid down the verses. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and I'm and i saying, I'm going to say this, that that was at the time, um, like, really how I felt at that time. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because... Outstanding came out, you know, at the time we wasn't saying hating, but you had people that, especially the ladies, loved Outstanding because they could sing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You had yeah. people that, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like he was an R&B, you know what I'm saying? So it was dope. You know, I love that record, man. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people do, man. A lot of people, when they see me, they that's the first thing they say when they see me. Outstanding. Oh, uh, yeah. I was getting a lot of feedback, too, that was like, yo, you should do this or this. Or you should uh -huh. do like this. So-and-so and them did this. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? In between that. So you can't escape the hypeness was really how I was feeling towards what people were saying towards me off the feedback of the first record. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. like, in the verse, in the, in the verse somewhere, I'd I be like, um... Silly fans compare my jams to the next man's, but it's a boulevard thing, so they can't seem to understand. You know what I'm saying? Why I don't flip or rip on the ill tip because the mental too strong. I don't have time for the nonsense. So later for that, just adapt to this format. And those who think that I laugh, just get, you know what I'm saying? Because they was comparing me to other people that was out. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was just the answer to that. So once I laid the verses, I was like, okay, we trying to find a chorus, you know? So right. um, Tone said he had an idea. Uh -huh. And he made us go upstairs for like an hour while he was working, doing something downstairs. So uh -huh. we came downstairs. He was like, he ready. So, so when we went downstairs to listen to the chorus, Tone was doing some, some, some shit like, you can't escape the hype, this. You can't escape the hype. You can't <laughs> escape the hype, this. Of the bossy tonight. I uh, said, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I was like, hell no, bitch. You ain't doing that with my shit, man. Yeah, but Tony, he, he had like that, that, that whimsic, that funny style. Like, you know, that was his, his he, he had like the humorous, you know what I mean? Yeah, but that style. was his chorus. Yeah. I was like, nah, bro. But nah, nah, I feel you. Yeah, but then I said, uh, but yo, if you got somebody, if you know, I said, if you want somebody to do that, I got somebody. You know uh, what I'm saying? If you want to do like, you know what I mean, the dance hall vibe. I said I got yeah. somebody. Hell and he yeah, was gonna, I know. He said, well, well, "We'll go get him then." You know what I'm saying? Right. I said I'll be right back, and I went and got Rizé. You know what uh, I'm saying? Yeah. And I told Rizé, I told him I brought him to the studio. I gave him the rundown. You know what I'm saying? I always like to tell this because I'll be like, Rizé had pajamas on <laughs> when I went to get him because it was a morning session. He had okay. pajamas on, like pajama shorts on, a tank top. I knocked on his door like, yo, yo, man, you talked about doing something, man. I was like, I need you, man, to do something for me. He was all right. He was, he was like, all right. I was like, right now, bitch. Like, come on. <laughs> he was like, oh, right now. I was like, yeah. He was like, all right, let me throw on something. So we went to the um, we went to the studio, and I told him the concept. I told him, like, yo, boom, 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 boom. And then he was like, Okay, I said the same name of the song can't escape the hypeness. You know what I'm uh, saying? You no matter what you do, we're still coming at you. You can't escape it. You know what I mean? And then he was like, hit something like can't escape the hype on this. I said, yeah. Uh, yeah. I said, do something like that. I said, we're gonna yeah. let you play with it though. You know what I'm saying? So he put the headphones on, we left him in the room by himself, and he just was playing with it. You know what I'm saying? And he yeah. did that. Ripping it, 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 I looked at Tone. I said, yo, did you record that? He said, yeah. I said, don't erase that, man. Yeah, Make man. sure you keep it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And once we got that, I said, okay, keep going. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. he, he was going, tell me what's going on in New Jersey, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, so man. We, keep, we keeping that. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. what we did... Yeah. We put it together afterwards. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It, it sounds yeah. like it, it sounds like he he could have went he could have went on and on, but sound like y'all had to like you know like you know chop it down to that little piece. But it sounded like Z could have kept going, man. You know what I mean? Let me tell you, what Z was doing was warming up. Oh, he, he was just warming up. Oh but, shit! Okay, okay. He, he was warming up, and we was recording and warming up. Yeah. So we just took that. And held it, you know what I'm saying, and then let him do little stuff after that. But we just kept the best part and just put it all together. We made that the climax of the record. We held right. it to the end. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We had a dub version though that Red Alert played the dub version, like when the right. vocals in and out. We put Z part at the beginning uh -huh. and the end. You know what okay. I'm saying? So you can get yeah. that twice because yeah. that really was the climax of the joint, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's really what made it, that took it over the top. You know what I'm saying? Right. And too many people wasn't doing the um the dance hall vibe at the time. It was a couple right. of them, but it wasn't it wasn't too many. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't too many, and and also it wasn't. Rock Z voice is very unique. It's very distinct. I, I feel like he was just like he was like the butter on the on the on the toast. You know what I mean? He was just like that. He just sealed it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, now, Razi is highly, highly talented, man. Multi-talented. Always been. Always been. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was lovely, man, because we already had chemistry from rhyming in high school. Uh-huh. You know, uh -huh. We started getting on the dance hall vibe. No, he been on the dance hall vibe. Even when we was making that tape yeah. that you was, you was talking about earlier, he, yeah. he, was, he was doing dance hall then, singing. But we was laughing at him. We thought, yeah, he silly like just playing around yeah you know what i mean then he yeah. really started perfecting it like you know what i'm saying yeah. and i was yeah. like yo he, he he for real about this like you know what i'm yeah. saying so he oh, lent yeah. he lent he lent us his talent on that man and and that really uh, helped that record to pop like it did you know what i'm saying shout out to him shout out to Razi, man real quick Razi, uh back in the day just like you said it to talk about how serious he was he was the first cat that i would see back in the day walking around Playing his own, playing his own music in his headphones, and I'm talking like yeah. 87, 88. Like I, I had never heard 
you know what I mean? A, a niggas riding, riding, like walking around playing their own shit, man. That shit, that, that was amazing to me, man. You gotta uh, see him in the crib. He's a natural entertainer, bro. You, you okay, gotta see him. Hell yeah, yeah. In the mirror, he in the mirror with it, like you know what I'm saying. By yourself, nobody home, the people there. I believe it, yo. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he, yeah. He, you know with the way you see him on camera and on the stage, that's how he really is, yo. Always, oh, he always likes camera action, yo. You know what I mean? Yeah, he ready to go. He saved us too in a lot of live shows too. I bet, I bet, man. So, so yeah, talk about that, man. Where were you? Uh. Was y'all like performing uh, different places, uh, like around Trenton, or was y'all going out of town with it when, when this record came out? Or, you know what I mean? Yeah, we was performing out of town at first. You know what I'm saying? We wanted to perform in Trenton, though, so bad. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we came up doing. Yeah, we used to be like an AC. We had a big shows in colleges. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A uh, new music seminar was probably one of like, that kind of changed my life because I got a chance to see a lot of the up and coming artists at that time. And we was in that, in that stack of artists, man, like tribe called quest uh -huh. leaders of the new school, poor righteous teachers was in it. YZ uh -huh. was in it, brand Nubian, uh, AG from showbiz and AG, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? It was, it was a lot of people into that show, man. And we all graced the stage that night. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of changed my life because, it was a lot of the jokers that I was hearing on the radio and seeing on TV. I was standing on the stand on the same stage as them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's so then, up. you know, eventually we came, we came and did the War Memorial, which to me was like our Apollo. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I came up looking at New Edition over there and uh, oh, I saw the Juice Crew, uh, I saw the Juice Crew, uh, BDP. Uh, oh, yeah. for you back in the day, man. I got one for you. I remember one time it was B Day when it was Boogie Boys, Bad Boys, B oh, Boys, wow. Lady B. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. All of it, they called it B Day because all the groups that was popping was like the Bad Boys, Boogie Boys, B Boys, I remember the B Boys, and I remember, remember, the that? remember Fly Girl, a Fly yeah, Girl. Yeah, Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah, I remember yeah. That. yeah. yeah. I and, and and the joke is that me uh was a now dad is Vicky. I gave her the hickey, and in the other room was a boyfriend Ricky. I think that was that oh. was called that oh. was bad boys. That was bad boys. That was bad boys. I thought that was uh oh man. That's that you you really going it's back? Either bad you, you boys, back. It's either bad boys or boogie boys. No, nah, it's not the boogie boys. Boogie boys was. They flat. gotta be bad boys then. It could have been. A, I don't know. I, don't, I gotta Google that shit. But, I gotta. But it was one of them in, in the in the group that made Fly Girl. When you ain't fresh, you ain't fresh. Uh uh. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 So so every time you know what I'm saying we got a we got an opportunity to perform at the War Memorial. Man, that was that was like our Apollo Theater right there. You know what I'm saying? So we did that. We did City Gardens. You know what I'm saying? We did a couple joints, but you know. But the yeah. New York shows, the Philly shows, the Atlantic City shows, you know what I'm saying? All of those Midwest joints and you know wow. you know that that was the ones that really like, you know what I mean, let us know like, yo, you know, that opened up the world to us. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. No doubt. Somebody said, uh, Jeweler Our Law said, Is that the show where they boo rock him? Oh, they boo rock him at a joint. I wasn't in that one though. I was a I was uh I was an observer. My man Almighty though, Almighty Alex was in that show. You oh, know what I'm saying? Him yeah. and Exotet. Rest in peace to Exotet, man. Chuck Charles White, man. Okay. You know what I mean? They yeah. they was in a group called the Chiefs from up okay. Dolly Home. They was in a group called the Chiefs. And, okay. and they was on there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So, Extra so, right with all. Yeah. Okay. Bad, my no, bad. Okay. I was, I was, big U over here, man. Big U came to support me, man. Yeah, yeah. Big U, yeah. man. What's up, man? What's up, what's up? So, uh, yeah, Ron Z wanted me to ask you about, uh, I don't know if that's the same show you were talking about, but he wanted me to ask you about a show that y'all did at the Civic Center, man. And he said, yeah, he said y'all tore it down so hard that y'all was, was on the news and all that, man. Yo, yeah. The Civic Center, bro. The Civic Center. Uh -huh. Talk about it. Talk about 
The Civic Center was in Philly. That was like the biggest joint at the time. Yeah, I remember, I remember the Civic Center, man. This is like you yeah. taking us back, man. We was in the Civic Center with Who C. Mm. YZ. Mm. Jazz and Jay Z. Mm. Okay. Master Ace. Master Ace. Mm. Okay. Cool heavy, heavy hitters. Cool G Rat. What year are we talking? Oh, uh, that's probably like 91. Mm. 1991, it was a Thanksgiving show. I got the flyer on my Instagram, on one of my Instagrams. I got the oh, flyer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, K-Solo so was, was, hey, Solo, Solo was the headline. Oh, shit. Damn. That sound ill, yo. Yeah, we, we went early in the show, man. We got a nice crowd, man. We blew it down, man. They put us on the news. Uh, the next generation, new sound. You know what I'm saying? That's what Razi was like, yo, we're going to call this ragamuffin hip-hop, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're gonna, you know what I'm saying? We're going to blend it. But they were saying it was a new sound, man. They had us on Action News. Yo, it, it, it was crazy, but... We got to find that saying? video clip somewhere. Is, is, that, is that out on YouTube somewhere, man? We got to find that. We taped it off the news. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We taped yeah. it off the news, so... You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We had it. Flex got everything, man. You don't know what Flex got, man. He be hot. Shout out, shout out to Flex, yo. Word. Yeah, shout Word. out to my man P, man. You know what I'm saying? But sure. yeah, that was the joint. Razi love that show. He love he love those type of crowds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah he is you hear me? Sound like I'm hollering. Or I sound good. I sound good, Slick. Nah, you sound you good, man. Oh, all right. Good, okay. Man. So yeah, man, it was uh I was telling you that we got a um I got a funny story to share with you, man. I was telling you about uh uh we got a mutual friend, man, uh uh Patty Pagnatti. And uh I, you know, uh where I work and shit, uh one day she was uh she was walking by me and uh out of nowhere she started singing, Jack Escape the Hot Ness. So actually, I was like instantly I'm like, yo, what up? Because mind you, you know she's she's a little she's a, she's a little older than you know older than me. So I'm, I'm I'm like yo, what do you know about that song? Like how do you how you know that song, yo? So um, she went on to say that um, she used to work with the uh, work with the Boulevard Mossy, and I'm like wait what? Like, like she was fucking me up because I was like yo, like what what does this lady know about hip hop? What she like not you know what I mean? Like how she know about Can't Escape the Hypeness? Like what the fuck? So that shit is like yeah. how old is that? I mean that song got to be at least thirty years old now, man. Yeah, that it was 1990. It probably yeah. is exactly 30 years. Yeah, man, 30 years old, man. So, yo, uh, she was like, yeah, I, I used to work with those guys. She told me that yep. she, uh, she, 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 uh, you guys did a photo shoot and she put together like the artwork for the, uh, for the cover and all that type of shit, man. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So when you yeah. showed me the picture, I was like, oh shit, like yeah, man. So like I said, she, um. Like I said, she wouldn't even tell you that that you gave her, you guys gave her some really good memories, man. Like I said, um, she said uh, when you guys, she knew you guys were stars. You, she knew you guys were special, and she said you wow. guys gave her a lot, a lot of good memories, man. But she also uh -huh. wanted me to ask you. She wanted me to ask you about. Um, she said that uh, Ice T had interest in you guys. Was it Ice T? She said it was Ice T. I don't. I don't, I don't know. You know that, that's what she said. But she said Ice T had some was show some interest uh, uh, in, in, in you guys back in the day. Probably, probably. I'm not. I'm not sure. Like back then, you used to hear stuff like that all the time. Like somebody wanted to to work with you, or somebody wanted to, you know, what I'm saying, do something with you. Somebody was starting a label, and they wanted to, you know, what I'm saying. I know Ice T was the host of the seminar. He was he was the host from that. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so uh, she but, said she, you know, she attended all that. You you guys used to go to those kind of things. She said y'all went to Jack the Rap, Jack the um, was that shit? Jack the Rapper. Yeah. If if anybody would know, it would be her. You know what right. I'm saying? Because yeah. she took care she took care of all of that, man. Shout right. out to Pat Pagnatti, man. That was our. Our A and R, our creative director, man. She went to a lot of shows with us, booked yeah. a lot of stuff for us. She traveled with us, 
You know what I'm saying? She did a lot for us, so so she would know. You know what I'm saying? She was on the inside. I know I know Nina Cherry. Um, they wanted us to do something with Nina Cherry overseas at the time. I ain't, I never I didn't know who she was. They yeah. wound up giving us the guru. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah I don't did. know what was wrong with uh, Huh? I said, yeah, I think Guru did do some joints with her back in the day. Yeah, he did. And I and I was kicking myself in the ass, man. Like I yeah. I didn't really understand that that part of the business, man. I just wanted to do street shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You was also was I, you, you was younger back then. I know you was at least 20, 30 years younger, man. Like, you know what I mean? I was nineteen. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was 19. They sent us to a producer crib up New York, man. And, (laughs) yo, man, he was trying to do some music for us, man. And me, Razi, and Flex, man. Razi got on the man keyboards and start playing the drum. We made our own shit. Like, man, (laughs) we was up there like, yo, that was a waste of time, man. We wanted to do what we wanted to do at the time, man. We wanted to talk to the to the to the kids in the ghetto, man. We wanted to tell our story, right? You know what right. I mean? Yeah. We wanted to tell our story. We wanted to what we wanted what we call vibe out, man. Just vibe out. Just play it. Let us express ourselves, whether it's singing, chatting, rhyming. You know right. what I mean? Right. You know, spoken word. You know what I'm saying? Because we was into the last poets too, real heavy. You know what I'm saying? So any type of yeah, we was into that heavy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So any type of way we could get our point across, man, we was with it, man. We ain't understand like, like overseas music and all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I understand yeah. it now. At that time, we ain't we ain't really understand. Uh, back then, you was you was strictly hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then people don't know. Like, I got a club record on the flip side of you can't escape the hype. And it's called Check Out the Footwork, right? I don't, I okay. I don't, I don't, I I couldn't find that one. I couldn't find that. Yeah, good. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, they made us do. They wanted the dance record so bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. wanted the dance record so bad. So I was, I was gonna mean? mention that. I was gonna mention that with uh with moves so funky because that's kind of a that's kind of like a dance track. I could I could see cats. You know what I mean? I can see Scoob and Scrap. You know what I mean? Bouncing off of that yeah. right there. Yeah, that's what I that's what I shot for for that. You know what I mean? So I'm not mad at Mood or something funky because you wanted you you wanted the record to be played at a party, right? You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, no doubt. You know, if outstanding didn't work, you flip it over, man, and and do Mood or something funky at the party. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's why we did it. I ain't mad at Mood or something funky. You know what I mean? I wanted some scratching. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted you. To do one of them dance records, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, that was that. Club, though, not club or hip house, but like a party yeah. record. You know what I'm saying? It's also, that was also the sound back then. Like house music was was big back in the late '80s, early '90s. So I could see uh, everybody had to do a, 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 a hip house mix, whether they liked the shit or not, man. You know what I mean? Everybody had on the flip side of the single the the, the hip house uh, remix or, uh, or whatever song they had. You know what I mean? Yeah, it ain't no disrespect to people like people like Jungle Brothers, Latifah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did it some. Some did it really well and was able to, you know, what I mean, come off with it. You know what I mean? But they so. were into that. Like up North Jersey, they into the house Hell music. Yeah. Hell yeah. They were into the trend too. And Trenton, they into it too. I yeah. just wasn't into it at the time. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I like really tough. wasn't listening to R and B too tough at that time. Like you know what I mean? I wanted to boom back all day. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right. Shout out to my man Perron who on the live, man. Perron used to be, I used to be like P, man. That was one of my roommates in college, man. I'd be like P, man, you are being me to death, man. I'm like, man, I can't listen to that shit all the time, son. He used yeah. to tell me, I boom back all day at that at that point in my life. You know what I'm saying? So, so, uh, so are the guys, uh. Everybody is everybody's alive and well, you know what I mean, as far as the group is concerned. Yeah, everybody everybody's good, man. And, and we all still like me, Plex, all, you know what I'm saying, Razi. I mean, we all we friends, man. We we friends first. You know what I mean? We was friends before the music. You know what I mean? Right. 
we was friends before the music. So once we, you know, started doing music, you know what I'm saying? It, it caused a little separation here and there, a little friction. But at the same time, you know, we real friends, man. We overcome that, man. We we, we ain't let the business tear us apart. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know what so, I'm saying? Okay. Everybody knew my first. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knew my mom and vice versa for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know? So, you know what I mean? But it, it business do that to you to a right. certain extent. But we overcame all that. We ain't never break up. We ain't never have no, you know what I mean, real fallouts. We still keep in touch today. Razi called me yesterday. I missed his call, but you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, right. it's, 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 Plex just left the barbershop before I came in. You know right. what I mean? I talked right. to him all the time. You know what I'm saying? We still yeah. curse each other out. You know what I mean? All right. So, so, you know? so did you? So did you guys uh, ever record a full a full album? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got people interested in that too. You know what I'm okay. saying? I, actually, yeah, yeah. We we had a good 15 songs done. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to do like 20 songs, and this was back then. I wanted to do like 20 songs and uh -huh. pick the best 12. Because at, at that time, the albums was like only 10, 10 songs, 10 to 12 songs. Yeah, it was kind of short. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I, I wanted 12 strong, you know what I mean? Yeah. For the 12 jewels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hit them with 12 jewels. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I'm so, I did a joint so. with Divine Drummer. I did a joint with Divine Drummer, man. I forgot the name nah. of it, man. How do you talk about it? I got to find that, man. Divine drummer from uh, True for Square, man. True for Square is another another group from Trend, you know what I mean? Represent yeah. the God and the Earth, you know what I mean? Shout out to True for Square, man. True for Square was my own. Man. Like, True for Square just had this vibe, man, that got your head, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All, all, all of them, all four of them. You know uh, what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Even when they ad lib and you like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Uncle EYE. You know what I mean? 10th Degree, Ruler R. You know what I'm saying? Divine Drummer, DJ Moan. Yo, you know what I'm saying? They ad-libs were so ill, man. I said, Moan, I got this joint I want to do, man. I just want you to ad-lib. You know what yeah. I mean? Just do background vocals, man, while I'm telling my story. You know what I'm saying? All right. I can find that. I got a joint, you know what I'm saying, with my man PhD and Money Star talking on the hook, my theme song. You know, it was called Mac the Sky. Ooh. Huh? So you said what's called what? Mac or die. Oh, Mac or die. Okay, okay. Mac All or right. die. That was my joint, man. That was way before Jeezy Trapper died. This oh, was yeah. 1990. My shit was called Mac or die. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I had that joint. I had a joint called Straight from the Boulevard off the Malcolm McLaren joint. Yeah. You know what I mean? I did, yeah, I did yeah. it. There, you know what I'm saying? We had like I had another day in the jungle. Mm. Uh we gets busy. Right. Uh we had a, a hard a, a hard dance hall joint called uh The Girls is Wicked, man. Mm. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Dub yeah. plate, man. And Kareem Magnetic, man. Rest in peace to, to K Man. Ooh, that was right. hard. Took they vibe of what they was doing in the room, man. Did my little vocals and let them black. You know what I'm saying? Word hey, up. I want, I want everybody to hear that, man. Hold on, Uncle. Not to, not, to, not to cut your wisdom, but we down to like 30 seconds. Uh, we could either uh, cut right here or we could jump into another live if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's, it's on you, brother, man. But we about to, this live is about to cut off in, in, in about 30 okay. seconds. It's up to the people, man. If the people want to hear it, man. Yo, Jazz, you about to go, Jazz? Nah, he he want to he want to um hook it back up. You good with that? All right, we we do it again. We come back on. Okay, we wrap it up. We, I mean, we do like 15, 20 more minutes, man. You know what I mean? All right, that's cool. All right, so we're about to come back. On? Yeah, we about to shut this live down. We about to jump into another live, y'all. All right, so I cast podcast signing off, y'all. All right, but we'll be back though. All right, peace. One sec. One sec.